Lakut, it is Tuesday, January 12th. As usual, Premier will start. Minister of Health, Minister Kuzubek, has something to say, and then Dr. Patterson will have his update, and then we'll get into one question, one follow up, as always. Thanks. January 12th. Good morning. Today there is no new cases of COVID-19 in Nunavut. That's always the good news. We remain at zero active cases. This is excellent news. Keep it up, Nunavut. The total number of persons followed to date is 5,925, and 361 persons are currently being followed. Yesterday, we began our vac vaccination clinics in Igloolik and Joe Haven. Our clinics in Alved and Cambridge Bay starts earlier, sorry, later this week. 
As we continue to announce new community-wide clinics, I encourage everyone to plan ahead for their vaccines. Book your, or book your appointments or make a plan to walk in. A great example of this is the community of Cambridge Bay, where there is about 60% of all adults there have made appointments already. Congratulations and thank you, Cambridge Bay. For those who are still uncertain, I know that all the information about this vaccine can be overwhelming. I also know there is a lot of misinformation, gossip, and untruth in our communities about the Moderna vaccine. Just because someone claims it is harmful does not make it true. Please listen to the health professionals rather than people whose opinions aren't accurate. This vaccine is safe and it is our absolute best defense in fighting COVID-19. And it is very, very important that as many adults as possible get vaccinated. It is not a cure for COVID, but it will help us fight the virus and hopefully return to, return to some normalcy. Nunavut Mute, please get vaccinated for yourself, for your loved ones, for those who can't in your communities, and for all of the Nunavut Mute. We all need to do our part because our actions impact everyone's health right now. Please, Nunavut Mute, stay safe, get vaccinated, and stay vigilant for our communities. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Nunavunida <laughs> Mummy good, Chakatal Lutalo, Kitty Pug Lutalo, Never Bing Nilo Aldegi Gunner Luta, Matuasima Aru Gunner Luta. Taking out a Roman Nacto. Is any taking out a Roman Nacto good? Nala Gunna Rupta, Capio Valdeon Nopta Rutaps Munga Anya the Rek Kutimi. Twenty twenty Ukiore would Axon Rauto. Ama Capto Valdeni Kupta twenty twenty one Taman Nakan between the Rale. Good morning. Uh, I just wanted to touch a bit about the vaccine program we have going on in Nunavut. You know, we could bring our world back to what it was. Not that long ago, we had square dance competitions, community feasts, uh, community events where everybody, old and young, got together and, and enjoyed each other's company. We were able to participate in hockey tournaments and uh, soccer tournaments, and life was good. That was just a year ago. And now we can't say hi to each other. We have to stay six feet apart and all wear masks and uh, uh, forget how to, how to have a community event without more than 50 people. Uh, and if we don't take the vaccine and, and, and follow the recommendations of, of some health professionals, 2021 won't be much different than 2020 was until we all do our role in, in getting vaccinated. Ikpaksani kapu Moderna tikim manunavum kapiya hotta padliya di lauktu nunavum me. Amma tamna kawe makoyi yung atana kapu COVID-19 me unatang neakto. Ilulili unata utik sangin ni. COVID-19 kardukulupit langin madlun ni. To Sakatama Ilang in Isumaluk to Nuvagi Kutimukapi or Yang at Nuvagi, Tachumanga Nuvang Miluka to Katama Nuvali to Nakatam Matago Tuni. Tamna take Kutituna Kaputi to Ajing Chamago, Tamna the Covet Kapit Langichatus, Iludeka Tori, Tautoko Narayarovi, Iswasautini, Covet Mik Unatarotio Nayatuni, Timimu Iluanu, 
Last week, we started to roll out the Moderna vaccine, and the vaccine has gone through rigorous testing, and it's followed all the steps needed to be certified, and it is certified, and it is safe to use. I've heard complaints or concerns that when you get the COVID vaccine, that it puts a little bit of COVID in you. It doesn't work that way. This doesn't work like the other vaccines that may, uh, that are out there that work under that kind of uh, premise. It, this just puts in those things that your body needs to fight, to fight COVID-19. You don't get a little bit of COVID when you get the needle, you get nothing. So just, just want to clarify that because that's been one of the concerns we've heard in the radio shows that we've had. This week we have teams going into Arviet. We have teams right now in Igdulik and Joe Haven. And we'll be moving on to Cambridge Bay and Rankin Inlet, followed by Akaluit and other communities as, as we move forward. It's very important that as many adults that can get the vaccine, get the vaccine because there are a lot of people in Nunavut who are under the age of 18 who cannot get the vaccine, and a lot of elders that cannot get the vaccine. So for those of us who could get the vaccine, it's important that we get the vaccine, if not for your sake, even if you don't believe in it, you should get it for the sake of those that you are going to be close to and that you could pass it on to, should you get it. Nagligi lugi isu magi lugi kapiya yun napisunga ukperingi kalo auni ikayo jaga suingi kalo auni kapiya me agaya gabe no takati isu magi lugi inu tokai no nangni tu kapiya yun nangni tu isu magi lugi tana ane ajuang nersiam makun nangim man ingi kali sunga kanga no takti taksa yun ne dapit lakat taktu magaya uman tamani dunu na bumi tamatu munga ituak sa uti takat Nala <laughs> We've been doing community radio shows uh, following the uh, communities that are getting vaccine, and there has been a lot of questions and concerns, and very good ones too. And if we were not able to reach your concerns before we got off the radio, the health staff and the people administering the uh, vaccine are very knowledgeable, uh, and they'll be there to answer any questions you may have before you choose to take the vaccine, and I encourage you to choose to take the vaccine. Moderna vaccine, 94% me, ikayu tikakatama, so 100 muna yak patakati kapiyao yu, 94, chungin na yak to tapsumunga, imakao matikan yan wa hayak to ksao yu lunin. Tamana atoktao kogaro para 
And for those who are sending out the, uh, the scare tactics and, and everything they've learned from Facebook and Twitter, please, people's lives are at risk here, children's lives and elders' lives. The facts are there. We have medical professionals saying that this is 94%. Uh, effective. Listen to those. I just hope that as many of you know, can take this vaccine as possible. It, it, it's important for our community. We don't have anywhere to go. The, the, the hospitals and health facilities down south are filling to capacity. If this virus should spread rampant across this territory, where are we going to send patients? It, it, it's very real. This is this is very real. Albert was very scary. I commend them for having gone through that uh, and, and coming out with it as in, in as good as they did. Uh, it, it just scares me to think what's going to happen if we've gone through this vaccine and and, and more more people don't take it than that should. It's scary where Nunavut could be. Thank you very much. Good morning. Yesterday, the first of our community vaccination clinics began in Iglulik and Joe Haven, and two more will start in Aviat and Cambridge Bay on Thursday. I commend the hard work health staff have done to organize and execute these clinics. I want to recognize all Nunavumiat who have taken the opportunity to receive their vaccination. It is our best protection against COVID-19. Since announcing the vaccine's arrival in Nunavut, we have heard concerns from some communities regarding the safety of this vaccine. In response, we've held community call-in shows to give those who were hesitant a chance to ask questions. And I want to thank all of those who took the time to ask their questions and to learn about the vaccine. <laughs> To Sahatar Samagata Sumali, Uni Ilang in Nunalini, Tan Atan on Ningani Caputi. Kiosima Yugun Taiko and Nunalini, Nala taking Nala outing it good. Ohala Rakit Sahatar to Gun, Taiko no upper Surumayuno. Hoyana Mirumia Cataqua, Ohala Hatalo to upper source to Ilipal Romalotti Caputi, Mitsano. I will tell everyone watching today the same thing I told Nunavumia who called into those shows. The vaccine is safe and has been extensively tested. We can tell you between the vaccinations in those communities and at the long-term care center in Iqaluit, we have not seen any serious adverse reactions. Now that we are expecting two shipments of 6,000 doses, <coughs> excuse me, by the week of February 15th, we have moved ahead with additional clinic planning. On January 18th, we will begin vaccinating priority groups in Iqaluit, starting with elders 65 and over and anyone living or working in a shelter. We will be doing this by appointment. People in one of the priority groups can call Iqaluit Public Health at 975-4810 for an appointment. Clinics will be held at the Iqaluit Public Health uh, building, building 1091. Uh, starting Monday, January 18th to Friday, January 22nd, from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. And Kikiktani General Hospital Clinics uh, on the clinic side, January 23rd from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. 
I know other communities are eager to know when they will be scheduled for vaccination clinics and we plan to announce additional clinics in the coming days. It has now been more than two weeks since the last active case was reported in Whale Cove and Aviat. Public health restrictions in both communities have been eased. We are not yet at a point that we can declare these outbreaks over, but we do believe it is safe to resume some activities. This includes an increase in gathering sizes and a return to a combination of remote and in-school learning. Daycares can also open with enhanced cleaning protocols. I know some have expressed concerns at reopening the schools at this point. This is understandable. However, evidence shows that schools can open according to the safety protocols in place. Reducing the unintended consequences that COVID-19 restrictions can have, especially on young Nunavumia and their learning, is as important as following the public health measures that aim to reduce the risk of COVID-19. Thank you. Nettin <laughs> Kent Driscoll, APTN National News. Uh, Dr. Patterson, I've been getting a couple of questions from Erviet just with the restrictions lifting today. I was wondering if you could go through a little more specifically what it means for the people in Erviet, what you can and cannot do. Like, can you go visit family? Can you have the grandkids over? Uh, when will recreational activities begin? Can you sort of walk it through for the people in our head? Can't just go to PT and Kunilu Ta Patterson, Taco, Abbey, your house, my mouth, their muni, Taco, a solita beauty to your Hasu Yoga, Nartilogin, Hano, Tukahamna, Manga, Hanelio, Nakat, and Malahanelio, Nangilat. 
So uh, masks are still mandatory in Aviat and Whale Cove. Um, people can have up to five visitors over to their house. Um, so some family visiting can restart. Restaurants and licensed establishments are still takeout only, food only, obviously. Um, and um, arenas and some other recreational activities can restart, but at smaller sizes. Um, and outdoor groups can be are now larger, and workplaces can reopen. What places can reopen? Workplaces, so office, GN offices, and other services. Suli asego behangi te mita ko matu asi mai na reale ita veani tikira zoamilo tali mani pula tra na sejo illo mi hati gira kaninga ko ila gi illo pula hata uti ko na lersuti. There's a small chance that there's still COVID in the territory, in either of the communities, but it it is small, and as we've seen in uh, Whale Cove, that public health measures at this level, uh, especially with people still wearing masks and keeping group sizes small, um, is effective at, at uh, preventing community transmission. So it's it's safe and appropriate to uh, ease the measures at this point. Miki Yugalo, I mean, Kisani, Sulipita Pitaha to Nara Hanga Nova Joan after me, Takun and Inona Lina, Verni Tikirab Jamilo, Tama Hawila, what the Tikirab Jamita, Kahasio to Luana, Hanani Toler and Mamalita Gali, Kisani Matuasima in Hatarluti, Amaloami Sulu, Taylor Hatarluti, Tamana, to Tahachar, Nartununa Linisa, Martailiti, Sinamo, Tame Matana, Nesu, which she got to Tamako, Ilangi, Asin, Hasuya, and Lagun Narni. Uh, Minister Kusaka, please. Uh, Minister Kusaka, last week you had said you were going to look into your deputy ministers and assistants, their associate deputy ministers, and how often they've been traveling during this pandemic. Uh, that was on Thursday. I'm wondering, have you looked into it, and what have you learned? Minister Kusuga, Pinosa Rosula, to me, Apersula, Matako, Minister, Minister Luti, to Ligi, Taqualo, Kayot Digiangit, Hanutia, Laksima, Tamana Star Mimula, Matsma, Machano, to Sarekan Nasimalaki. It is a kind of similar to Tapco, Tamato, Mixano, Apercoti, Sula Tip Tacuni, Amari. Yes, we will. I've looked into it, but uh, these questions will be dealt with by our Premier. Thank you. Um, I'll answer more than your question. <laughs> I've had uh, in my in my portfolio. I had one senior official travel under my portfolio because of uh, necessary medical travel. As I stated earlier, all cabinet ministers remain in territory during the holiday periods. Uh, and to the best of uh, our knowledge, 20 senior managers traveled outside of the Nunubu during the holiday period. Well, the GN strongly encourages all employees to take their earned leave in territory. Reasons including medical travel and family emergencies can prompt travel outside of the territory. government 
pilih ya kau tiga utama ni, nunu nunu mana kau ni tahu, kita ni lain ni kita kuat, ane ane ubalu ba, ilah ha ilah tu ubalu ba, ilah ni ane tu tak pilih tu kau kau ilah ni kau awal lah lah kau mata ha kau nunu nunu. It is important to note that leave is a benefit that applies to all GN employees, and that the only length that only the length and the coding of leave is required for approval. Any additional information requests about this travel plans and location would be invasion to our employees' rights to privacy. Uh, Kanu akini itu je, amma kanu itu mit hanang ini itu ni atau ni amma ngata tak kuat kihimi kau iya kau apa tigo, tan na kau iya itu iya buat tak kuat nok kanga yau tan na pilih gaye nunu bu ila tanu awal dah ni amma ngan, tan na kau iya kau iya kau ni mera apa tigo tan na awal dah ni amma ngan, ila nok kanga tigo nunu bu mi awal dah ni am awal dah ni amma ngan ani ni amma ngan. Like any Nunavut Mu who travel outside the territory, senior managers are subject to the isolation requirements set out in the travel restriction orders before they return to the territory. Takwa government kuni pilagay look that like Nunavut Mu look that takwa government kuni pilagay yoko chinda kami ilaw tulugit Nunavut Mu tara nala patatay ko inuto having mi hinitaw mi ublu fourteen and take ni gya kaktu takwa tamang mi look that tay ko na gya kaktu. I have made it clear that non-essential travel is not recommended during COVID-19, especially with the high numbers of cases during the second wave. And I'm checking in with my cabinet colleagues to ensure that they are due diligence in this messaging with their senior manager team as well. <laughs> Jadi orang itu kita mana nunu buat iluan ini nak kena kot lagi. Dah nama mana ular tu yang api jitu kita buat tak kuat. Kalau nana nana ni tak kuat, nuna nana yang kah tu nana hau tu kop muat cemerlang mata. Ami hunga kot itu tak kuat lu ni an yang api tak tak pelik lah mata. Ami tak kuat minister kot itu kah kau tu tak tak kuat tak kuat kau itu hati tak lugu tak kuat. Pilih yang kau tinggi nunu buat mungkin lah tanu ane ni amang ata. And less than, uh, for privacy reasons, less than five DMs have left Nunavut for medical or family reasons. Thank you. Jackie McKay, CBC News. My questions are for Dr. Patterson. This morning, um, a Kavuitz mayor and council tweeted some things about vaccines coming um, to the community. I was hoping you could clarify some of the things they said. Uh, one of the tweets says that the vaccine has been in Nunavut since December 30th. And another one says that a Kalamut should call public health and get on the list so, the vac so when the vaccine is available, they're in the queue. Can you say if just regular residents of Halloween should be calling to get an appointment already, and if the vaccine for Halloween has already been in the territory since December 30th. Jackie McKay, CBC, Kunni Ullasa, Tanna Mayor, Katima Yingillo, Naluna Siga Hattakhaum, Mata Tamakwa Kaputi, Tikisimalotti Lugi, December 31 minute. Amalu tana ilang aku hati ni, kalau ni aku main ni aku mau tak ku ini cale aku jauh luti, kapi jauh ni aku tak ku sama di sambil thirty one minit, kerana semua laut itu lagi pergi alit air nak tak kan? So the there has been vaccine in the territory since December thirtieth. The premier and I are well, we met it publicly, but that vaccine is a territorial supply intended for the entire territory and and the vaccines um, right now all doses delivered to Nunavut will arrive in either a Kaluit or Rankin Inlet and then be shipped out to communities as needed uh, 
the plan for Kaluit for moving forward is starting January 18th. We'll be opening up, pardon me, opening up vaccination to with the priority groups that we mentioned: people 65 and over, uh, people living in shelters. And they should be the ones who are contacting the Calouette Public Health to schedule themselves to get vaccinated. Thank you. Um, as well, we've heard that there's already um, people making appointments for vaccines in Rankin Inlet. Can you clarify if they're going to have a clinic? Yeah, they're going to have a clinic um, at the same time in the week of the 18th. Sorry. Of the Canadian press. Uh, you mentioned, well, I believe the Premier mentioned that 60% of people had signed up to get vaccinated in Cambridge Bay. Can you give us an idea of the other communities that are getting vaccinated this week? How many people have signed up? I'm a Toronto Canadian press Premier Hakam and Taco Alugo, 60% in Italy, Simalaria, and I have to tell me a single lick, a single lick, and not only how you have a chain, it's a little similar. The number who had signed up was less, but in one community they're doing it by uh, walk-in only, and that was a decision they made based on circumstances. We know that at the end of yesterday, more than 400, just a little bit over 400 Nunavomiot had been vaccinated. So it's encouraging, um, and we're, we're hoping to build on those uh, successes. It sounds like you have the next 6,000 doses pretty secured to arrive in the territory. Can you give us an idea of which communities will be next to hold community-wide clinics? We can't give that right now. We're, some of it depends on how much gets used in the communities that are getting clinics right now, and that'll help us adjust our uh, schedule. As cases rise in the south and as hospitals fill up, uh, to ask the question that Minister Kusik asked, where are we going to send our patients? It would depend on the circumstances and if things get to the point where one or more of our uh, typical reception sites is unable to take patients, whether it's because of COVID or, or for other needs, then the physicians involved in the care, the, and up to and including the territorial chief of staff, would be calling other jurisdictions to see who has space. <laughs> Takwa no wajua mapi jutigi lugasi ngi nilo ne takwa 
To the best of your knowledge, have there been any impact so far to Nunavumi of traveling south for medical because of the status of hospitals in the south? There have been, uh, yeah, there have been impacts. There were procedures and surgeries, uh, procedures like surgeries and others that were postponed, especially earlier in the spring. Um, right now, there has not been, um, I'm not aware of any time where people have been denied uh, medevacs or emergency services at all. Tobiotaxibisikunin <laughs> In the next couple months, as these vaccines arrive to Nunavut and the growing population, what well, with the growing population and age groups, who will have their birthday in the next couple months. Do you recommend for those to make an appointment or do you have to wait at a certain time to make appointments? Right now, the vaccine is um, really only accessible through these community clinics um, as uh, supply and resources improve that that may change uh, but uh, I can't give a firm answer on when that's going to happen so if somebody be, turns 18 if they're 18 and above when the vaccine is in town my advice is get it done uh, if they turn 18 afterwards they can contact their health center and get clarification on when it's coming back or what's available Mana yo taco caputi at win now matakisa ni taco and in una linalona semayatini capisa hatam nati logi taco so lamigas in the potatama nasi jitu in the real legal workers and itamako eighteen new kyo halotu taman no how to yaka capio chauti hata hata hood logi nunalini capisa hata lakata kisa and king unego eighteen uner to how you gear who yak taka nunalina now being a no to kiss a girl to hang a goat canela mangata capisa yato hata. Uh, Trevor Wright, Nunavut News. Uh, questions for the Premier? The uh, province of Manitoba said they're not counting out a province data and it's not included in their data reporting. Um, how do you think we should count the deaths of our own? Trevor Wright, Nunavut News. Good night. I'm Manitoba. I'm not going to say that I'm 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 Thank you. As Dr. Patterson stated earlier, and I think he could answer this question better, but he stated that we want to make sure deaths are counted properly and they're not so that we don't omit any and that we, they're not comp so that they're not counted twice. All deaths are regrettable and they will be counted, but I believe Dr. Patterson would have a much better explanation than I can have because this is a procedure thing. He might not talk to anyone but me. Or to anyone else, or to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. 
นาฮักตาวเนาะตัวรีดมานันนุนาตาตุนนุบุมินนาฮักตาวเนาะมังอาตาอุบลุมานะโทบะมิตานะอิสวาไคมะกะดอกเตอร์พาราสคิวชานะ
percentage ng kahoy ko wala ko nito na mikiluwak to kapi percent mga okang na ayong ito nga kihena okak tuluwak to matako ami hong ito kaya kablo na nuna nu aul dala to matako kame kun na kochi na kani pili kayo na how tingi takulita to ni This might be a little more for Dr. Patterson. You guys figure it out. But uh, were any of those senior managers allowed to skip the two weeks quarantine? And if they were in quarantine, were they allowed to work remotely while they were in quarantine? <laughs> As I stated earlier, all senior managers that go south have to go through the hub too. To the best of my knowledge, no one's been allowed to skip the 14-day quarantine. Jackie McKay, CBC News. My questions are for Dr. Patterson. For the shipments of vaccines uh, that were expected by February 15th, those two shipments are of 6,000 doses for a total of 12,000 doses. And are we expecting to still be getting shipments every three weeks? Every three weeks? Jackie McKay, CBC, Kuni Taco, a ticket down the Kayati, February 15, me. Taco, Mako, the 6,000, Tema, Katilugi, 12,000. Pinasaro, Siping, Asunage, Patatiki, Bill Hatalangabi. Yeah, that's correct. Our current information is that um, up until the end of February, the decisions have been made and the allocations are set. And then past that, things could change. So just to be super clear, it's 12,000 by February 15th? 12,000. Correct. Another, um, you spoke a lot today about uh, rumors going around about the vaccine. Um, a question I just got from the public was the same rumor that was going around during the H1N1 vaccine about microchips in in the vaccine. Are you able to just squash that rumor right now? Sure. And yeah, we just, oh, sorry. <laughs> Suling it to tell you, they might say, H one and one may house a long attack or a so young house. How you get a good deal good enough to meet him, but poor Sayokala Katana, Suling in Ningan in Alunate, sir. Yeah, the um, we've heard the rumors and we've been asked that a couple of times, Minister and I, and there's no chips or anything like that in this vaccine. Thank you. I'm a fan of vaccine press. Um, can you explain why um, nurses wouldn't go to the shelter to vaccinate people? Why do people have to call and make an appointment if they're in shelter? I'm a trying to get it and press come it up. So my nurse will tell you, I'm trying to go with more people to get along with it. That was an operational decision, and if it turns out to be too much of a barrier, then we can make arrangements to do that at, uh, at then or at that time. Sorry. Why aren't uh, Akalawit's correctional facilities included in those priority groups next week? It it's, uh, they are one of the priority groups, and they would be um, probably in the next round for Akalawit uh, would be to get the um, correctional facilities and some other priority groups vaccinated. 
With the new variant that's a bit more contagious, does that change your plans at all in terms of how the territory prepares? Not at the moment. What we know about the, these new variants is they, uh, they do respond or they can be controlled with public health measures like isolation, masks, and, and uh, maintaining distancing and hand hygiene. Um, and we continue to rely on those even with the vaccine. So at the moment, no, it doesn't change our plans. Is the Moderna vaccine effective against these variants? Say that again. Is the Moderna vaccine effective against these variants? We don't have full evidence yet, but at the same time, we don't have any evidence that it's not effective. So, we have a question for the Minister. Can you give us an update on the Moderna vaccine? Travis Burke, CBC News. This question is for Dr. Patterson. I was actually curious about expiration dates on the vaccines and uh, if there is any excess vaccines that are being used, what happens to those? Trevor Burke? Travis Burke. Travis Burke, CBC, Kunilu Tap Harrison. Taco is a little bit of a cup of tea, you feel good near Nangat, good Nayam Mangata, Peter Paul Kata. It depends on the storage conditions. If it's in the freezer at minus 20, it's several months and will last longer than our, uh, you know, well into our current plans. Once it's thawed, as long as it's thawed at, at fridge temperatures, it's, it can stay there for up to 28 days um, and could be used at a later clinic. Once the vial's been punctured, it's good for six hours. And so it has to be used. Um, and like happened last week in a Callowit, if a vial's been punctured um, and everybody available has gotten it, then we'll and many jurisdictions have done this, they'll uh, give it to anybody who's an, an adult, even if they're not in a priority group, to try and minimize wastage.